I'd like to start the press conference by Foreign Minister Hayashi. Over to you, sir. I have two uh, opening uh, remarks. Uh, if uh, circumstances allow from, allow from the 4th of January to the 15th, I'll be visiting Mexico, Ecuador, Brazil, Argentina, and New York in the United States. Let me talk about the purpose of my visit to Latin America. Japan and the Latin American countries have had a long-standing friendly relationship and uh, it is an important partner with which we share basic values. With the G7 presidency from the beginning of the year in mind, I'd like to exchange views with these countries on issues of the international community and further strengthening bilateral relations and to further cooperate with them in maintaining and strengthening a free and open international order based on the rule of law and other important international issues. In Latin America, approximately 2.3 people of Japanese uh, descent live, and uh, they are a very strong bond with our country. So I'd like to deepen exchanges uh, with people of uh, Japanese uh, descent there. The next part is about my visit to New York. Next, uh, Japan will serve on the UN Security Council for two years from the 1st of January next year. While the Security Council has not been able to respond effectively to Russia's aggression in Ukraine, for example, as a member of the Security uh, Council, Japan will actively contribute to ensuring that the Security Council fulfills its responsibilities through close dialogue with other countries and will strengthen the international order based on the rule of law. That is our thinking. And uh, from the 12th of January, Japan will have the presidency. And uh, I will also preside over a ministerial level public debate on the rule of law, which will be chaired uh, uh, by myself. The rule of law cannot be achieved only bilaterally. The UN, as the core of multilateralism, and in particular with its key body, the Security Council, have a heavy responsibility. We would like to invite not only the members of the Security Council, but also a wide range of UN member states to participate, exchange views with them on the various challenges facing the international community regarding the rule of law, and engage in lively discussions that will contribute to strengthening the rule of law in the international community. Next. I attended the G7 foreign ministers meeting, uh, the 11th meeting for this year, for about one hour from 21.30 on December 22nd. The meeting denounced Russians uh, intensifying military attacks on the energy infrastructure in Ukraine and uh, confirmed that necessity to provide um, further support to Ukraine for overwintering. At the meeting, after touching upon the national security strategy, which was uh, recently adopted, I stated that Japan would promote diplomatic efforts and to maintain and enhance a free and open uh, international order based on the role of rule of law. I also stressed that Russia's nuclear threat cannot be accepted by any means, let alone the use of any nuclear weapons. I also stated that it is important to maintain and strengthen the G7 close collaboration and as the next year's G7 host, Japan will lead efforts and to show the G7 strong commitment not to accept any unilateral change to the status quo by force amid the intensifying complexity in the international situation with the baton handed over to me by Foreign Minister Bierbock I will lead the discussion that will help us and to stay united in the G7's efforts to address the issues the international community faces. Please raise your hand if you have a question and, and when called upon, uh, please approach the nearest microphone and state your name and affiliation uh, before you state your question. NHK, Urasawa-san, please. Urasawa from NHK. Uh, on uh, 
your visit to Latin America, I'd like to ask the following. Uh, in the uh, UN Security Council, open discuss, uh, discussion uh, regarding uh, China with uh, strongly uh, showing hegemonistic strengths. So what would you like to make an appeal about in uh, Latin America, uh, specifically uh, what the issues uh, will be taking up? On uh, the security, UN Security Council, a rule of law is the theme. It's a uh, ministerial open uh, debate. Uh, uh, the uh, UN uh, Charter principles and uh, rule of law and the significance uh, thereof is what I'd like to make an appeal about. And uh, as uh, the chair and president, uh, uh, we would like to ask uh, many uh, member countries of the UN, uh, not only UN Security Council uh, members, uh, to solicit their views. Uh, uh, we want to have an active exchange of views uh, which will contribute to uh, uh, rule of law in the international society. And uh, Mexico, Ecuador, uh, Argentina, and uh, uh, the uh, Latin America countries are important partners with whom we share uh, uh, common uh, values. And uh, Mexico, Brazil, and Argentina are G20 members. And uh, Brazil and Ecuador uh, will be serving as uh, the uh, non permanent member of the UN Security Council along with uh, Japan. And uh, so these are countries which are positive uh, about uh, 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 approaches uh, related to international uh, framework. So with these countries, uh, we want to discuss the uh, rule of law and free and open uh, international order, maintaining and uh, strengthening thereof and other important issues. And uh, uh, these issues are becoming imp increasingly important under the present circumstances. Uh, the supply chain disruption and uh, food and energy price uh, as, uh, prices are skyrocketing. And uh, Latin America has uh, abundant resources and so from the standpoint of economic uh, security, uh, we are focusing on that region. On the part of the Japanese government, uh, we want to strengthen relations with the Latin American countries more so than ever before. And uh, uh, we want to en engage in discussions from such a perspective uh, through my visit this time. Nobira Asahi Shimbun. Nobira Asahi Shimbun. Related to the question. Next year, Japan is going to serve as the chair of uh, the G7 and the Hiroshima summit is uh, going to be uh, held and the, Japan is also going to serve on the Security Council as non-permanent member. And with the, a lot of uh, international issues to be addressed, what kind of ideas do you have uh, as the foreign minister to deal with all those issues? When it comes to the, the, uh, the United Nations Security Council, I think uh, there is uh, some issue facing uh, uh, the Security Council, and I think it is at the time of uh, challenges. At the same time, when it comes to the UN Security Council, it has been playing a certain level of role. And then still, a lot of uh, countries are placing some expectation on a role to be performed by the UN Security Council. So under these circumstances, Japan is going to become the non-permanent member of the Security Council. I think it is important that it is going to be engaged in close communication and courteous dialogue with the members so that the Security Council will be able to play its due role. And then among these efforts, and through these efforts, we hope Japan is going to be committed to maintaining international law based on the rule of law. Chugok Shimbun, please. Hinguchi from Chugok Shimbun. A G7 Hiroshima summit is uh, my question. It's less than five months uh, to go. And, uh, and the main uh, uh, places, uh, the venues have been decided. Uh, and uh, you will have the presidency from uh, January. How do you ex intend to uh, increase momentum? Uh, starting uh, next year in January, uh, Japan uh, will have the presidency of the G7, and uh, we will be uh, consulting with the related countries in uh, the preparation work. At the G7 Hiroshima summit, uh, uh, military invasion and uh, nuclear weapons uh, and the use of that uh, for intimidation uh, is something that will absolutely uh, uh, reject uh, uh, and attempt to uh, also change uh, the international order will be uh, absolutely uh, rejected. And we want to uh, make this a historical event. And uh, uh, with regard to uh, smooth uh, operation and uh, watertight uh, security, uh, we will have ask a cooperation from the locals. And we want to uh, make a government-wide effort uh, to approach this issue. Uh, the logo mark uh, for the summit uh, we want to leverage uh, so that uh, we can uh, 
uh, engage in strategic uh, PR, including uh, communicating about the attractiveness of Japan. Kyodo Tsushin, Ueda-san, please. This is Ueda of Kyodo Tsushin. With regard to your planned visit to China, at the summit meeting, uh, there was agreement uh, to adjust the foreign minister's visit, but uh, it was reported uh, that uh, the visit uh, to China was uh, cancelled within this year. And at the summit meeting between the two countries, the two uh, leaders have agreed and to uh, communicate and prom uh, excuse me, promote the communication uh, at the summit level, uh, at the uh, leaders level. And then I was um, um, they invited them to uh, China to make a visit, but at this point in time, nothing has been determined yet. Uh, we will continue efforts and to adjust uh, the appropriate timing. Abe Yomiri Shimbun, please. Abe Yomiri Shimbun. On uh, Central Asia, uh, the five countries' uh, foreign ministers' meeting is uh, what my question is about. You uh, mentioned at the outset uh, Ukraine uh, and the invasion of Ukraine by Russia continues. And uh, uh, traditionally, the Central uh, Asia's uh, sphere of uh, it is uh, considered to be a sphere of influence. Uh, uh, so, uh, strengthening uh, relations with Central uh, Asia. What is the significance of this? Uh, tomorrow, uh, we will be inviting uh, the foreign ministers of uh, five countries of Central Asia, and we will have the ninth um, uh, foreign ministers of meeting uh, uh, between uh, Central Asia and Japan. Uh, it's uh, a, most, uh, a uh, most watershed year. It's the 30th year since the establishment of diplomatic relations between Japan and Central Asia. And so it's the first time that uh, all of the five nations of foreign ministers uh, will be there. It makes me very happy. Now, uh, the, under the present circumstances uh, where Russia has invaded Ukraine, the Central Asia is uh, faced with various challenges. Uh, so under the circumstances uh, at uh, the foreign ministers' meeting uh, this time, so that Central Asian countries uh, will be able to realize a sustainable uh, development, uh, investment in uh, uh, people and the quality of uh, growth. Uh, and uh, focusing on these, uh, to think about uh, uh, cooperation as it ought to be. Uh, this is what we'd like to discuss to enhance collaboration. And as for response uh, to Russian invasion of Ukraine and the international uh, situation regarding East Asia, uh, with regard to these issues, we'd like to have a, uh, a very frank exchange of views, uh, and including Afghanistan which is adjacent to Central Asia, uh, to cooperation to deal with uh, destabilizing risk of the region will also be discussed at uh, this uh, meeting. Uh, uh, we want to uh, share awareness uh, with regard to international order, maintenance thereof, uh, uh, which is uh, free and open based on uh, rule of law. And we want to talk about the cooperation between Japan and Central Asia. NHK. You also of NHK. Now, with regard to your planned visit to the United States this January, on this occasion, is there going to be a possibility of being engaged in the discussion based on the 2 plus 2 and others? Now, 2 plus 2, which is a schedule next time, and a foreign minister's meeting, uh, the, uh, nothing has been determined. With this, in the interest of time, we would like to conclude this press conference.